All right, so the Blue Jay Buffet call has been dispersed just moments ago. Here's, is that a dove? Or, oh, it's a squirrel on that far fence. But uh, yeah, I put some peanuts out and several Blue Jays have come up. They haven't been, you know, it, there hasn't been, I know I haven't had a lot of window stuff, but they haven't been, they've been sneaking. The weather has gotten cooler, and I think what's going on is the squirrels have been decimating. As soon as they get peanuts up, I mean, it doesn't even last an hour, even a big pile, because what they're doing is they're hiding. We've had a lot of cold weather. Today is the first day that's supposed to be not cloudy, and as you can see, it's eight, about 8.30, not even 9 o'clock in the morning, and um, it's it's going to be a nice day for a change, but it's been very cold and really windy and, and rainy or like drizzly, kind of misty, rainy kind of thing for a week. And yes, I'm getting over uh, bronchitis and a sinus infection. Uh, I think I'm done with the sinus infection, but, you know, bronchitis hangs around forever. But anyway, um, so what, what I think has happened is that cold snap. I mean, they've got the heat on in, in the complex, and we don't pay for heat because they have uh, heat. And it, they turn it on every season, and then every spring they turn it off. And we don't pay for it, so that works for me. <laughs> it really works for me. But anyway, I think because of the cold weather coming in, um, <laughs> some of the younger kids are off to school now. The older kids already went earlier in the day. Anyway, I think what that's happening... Oh, there's, I knew if I hung long enough. Um, what's happening is they are are starting to hide the peanuts, stash them. Because I have seen them yesterday and the day before the squirrel. I'll watch him. He'll grab the nut and he won't go off somewhere and eat it or eat it on the windowsill. He will run over by the playground in that material that they put down last, last year. Um... Oh, yeah, this is the first full year that they, they did. They, I just, just oh, God, I'm not very noticeable, very, <laughs> um, lots been going on. Um, they did get the weeds down from the fencing. Hmm. That must have been done at least a few days, but I'm just noticing it. That's pretty bad, Judy. <laughs> yeah, between my, my niece's wedding and focusing on that and getting those uh, those wooden letters, um, those wooden words, and such uh, gold leafed and stuff for the for the tables and stuff like that. And then after the wedding, I was sick immediately after, and it's been like three weeks since the wedding. So, so oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so yes. They've been taking it, and there hasn't been a lot of activity other than grab and go on the windowsill, which is why you haven't seen a lot. Now, once the very cold weather pops in and we get snow, you'll see more window stuff because they'll have to come. Not only will they feel the heat coming through the, the screen, because um, there's a heater right at the head of the bed, I'll just, usually I'll pull it bedding up a little bit. The heat will come up. The, the squirrels and the birds love to sit, just sit at the window, hunker down in the winter, sometimes with the snow out there. And they'll be at the window eating and hunkering in the warmth, which, which is okay. That's okay. I mean, even if a cat that's freezing gets up there for some heat, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So, I have to keep my heat on, the valves on, open. I'm just waiting for some activity for you guys at the window. Um, 
I need to leave it open and not turn it down to like a lower heat. Sometimes when in the winter, when the snow comes, they turn the, the heaters up all the way. Now, right now, they're only partially open. I'm at the end of a line. And so I, of course, get the least amount. It's still plenty. So right now, it's just very light. But that's all we need. You know, other people closer to the beginning of it are getting a much um, higher amount of heat. Um, that's fine, though, because I'm not somebody who... I usually have my windows cracked anyway. This is why I stayed. Come on. I'm smiling. And I know I should have left it in the other position, in the horizontal. But I was intending only to do a short. Oh, another bird. You see the bush shake? Now, on a day like today... Where there's no wind, every time that bush shakes, it's either a bird or a uh, squirrel. And the smaller birds, it doesn't shake near as much. The squirrels make it shake a lot. And if there's several blue jays, they'll make it shake a lot. I'm looking. Did you see him come up and he already had the peanut in his mouth? That was interesting. I wonder why he did that. That was interesting. Has he heard me talking? There's birds, as you saw, right? It's almost like the Blue Jays. They're, that's from one of the Blue Jays that was born this year. That's why I stopped talking, because some of them, some of the birds and some of the squirrels... Some are more skitterish with my uh, skittish. With my presence. See, they're hiding. They're not eating that. What they're doing right now, and the squirrels will do it later, are stashing it. They're, they're hiding. They're, they're squirreling up uh, the food because the cold weather has, has you know, prompted that instinct to burrow away your extra food. But they'll have it all winter long here, and they'll, they'll figure that out. They'll start, when it comes in the spring and it's raining a lot, they'll be like, oh yeah. Or if I'm, if I happen to be out of peanuts for, for several days, um, waiting for my, my check, my money, my direct deposit, or just out of, you know, just out of peanuts. And I don't have a vehicle, so I can't just, you know. It's funny because some of them, when they pick them up, if they're not very heavy, they drop them. They're not the best nut because they're not full. One of them has, you know, it's broken open on one end and one of the peanuts has fallen out or something. Yeah. Did you see that? He dropped two different peanuts to pick the correct peanut that felt right in his mouth. It could be just balance of how it's uneven or not. Did you, that was interesting, right? You, you got to see the uh, the actual picky picky peanut. That's a young starling. He's doing the bird seed. I've got millet, ground corn, and sunflower seed out there. Which the squirrels and the blue jays I have seen eat. 
when there's no peanuts and they're want and they're hungry. Just a little one. Uh oh. See, the blue jay didn't bully him away. It just he just flitted away because he got scared. But there's another blue jay in there, bush. I can see it. Or it might be a few of the little birds. Oh, it's starting to get busy because it's the rest of the world is waking up. Oh. Oh my. You see how they have the blue jays have this most of them use this civility thing. It's like the shrub escalator. Y you see what I'm saying? It's just it's odd. See, the trick for this little one is there's another blue jay down there. You see how fast he's eating? He's, he knows blue jays are coming for the peanuts. He can't, he's eating, he's not doing the peanuts. He does the millet. So he's trying to eat very fast. Do you see how the blue jays, they've come down to the ground and then they come off the bush? It's like a civility. They're taking their turns. There's another blue jay ahead of him. You hear that trilling? See one up on the bush too? He's doing that trilling. That's a blue jays. But yeah, you'll see that bush shake and even as one hops from the bush onto the window ledge, you'll still see the bush shaking because all the other blue jays are hopping up to the next. It's like Mount Everest in modern days. It's like the next person to get to the top and take a picture. Pause, picture, okay, start down. Next person, up. Oh, it's like going into Santa's lap almost. Right, that's kind of what they, the Blue Jays, do it. Um, as you see, every now and then you'll get a, a bully who'll just swoop in from the fence, or from the air, and just fly down to the, to the uh, ledge. Most of them fly down to the ground and use and basically use the shrubbery elevator shrubbery escalator up oh. uh, raspy is woken up from the first m morning nap oh, I said oh mom's talking so there must be something going on over here what is happening over here what's up rappy oh just give it a big old yawn. I like how that looks. With the silhouette. I actually really like that. I'd like to take a picture of it, but I'd have to stop the video. I don't want to do that. Actually, the painkillers are starting to kick in. So... Once everybody's off to work by like 9, 30, 10, I'll, uh, because some people don't go in until 10 because they take their kids to school, the younger ones. <laughs> so you did get birds and kitties. They were smudgies, probably sleeping somewhere in the living room, I'll bet you. Mr. Rashby Pants. See how nice and lean he's gotten? He doesn't even look like a 13-year-old older guy, eh? Guy looks like he's in his youth. Yeah, he sees all the birds and squirrels and peoples. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
my hand is definitely getting tired. I was planning on shooting a minute short, but <laughs> it's gone into who the heck knows. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Alright, now you got raspy eclipsy in the window. Peace out, guys. Have a lovely day.